Okay, maybe as we wait for people to come in, Adria and I will just um, do a recap of what we have done in the past couple of days. Um, and then we'll dive into the session. Adria, you wanna start? Um, thank you, everyone. Welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, please don't forget to fill the poll while we are talking. Um, so we are uh, today, day three, and uh, the discussion will be focusing on, on infectious disease outbreak and protection of the children, which is quite key looking at the past two days that we had together, Monday and Tuesday. Um, which started with some very interesting open remark, opening remarks from uh, Mrs. Strix, UNHCR, around the situation of uh, children um, around the world affected by the consequences of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, um, with a focus as well on refugee children. Then we had a very interesting uh, key panel session that maybe, Honey, you would like to say a couple of words about that. Yes, so we had a very interesting discussion during the um, opening panel of yesterday's um, yesterday's call, which was on evidence. That's what you're referring to, Audrey, right? No, on day one, but that's day okay. one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so day one was um, we we did have a fantastic um, opening panel where uh, five speakers spoke about from different angles, from education perspective, from social protection perspective from uh, um, health perspective uh, spoke about the importance of putting children at the center of, of the response um, and all of them drove this message home that it's it's all about a holistic approach to the needs of children um, and it's all about multi-sectoral collaboration um, I'll, I'll also mention a few things about you want to go through day one no, please go to the evidence uh, sure. plenary session and then we can go back to the thematic. Yes, and um, especially for those who were not able to join us yesterday. Um, yesterday, we started with a very interesting discussion on the issue of evidence generation during COVID-19 um, era, um, and especially focusing on the issue of ethics of, um, of collecting data in, in these times, um, which spurred some really interesting conversations from both both sides of the of the argument of we the, focusing on the importance of the participation of children, but also the importance of considering ethics and, and confidentiality issues um, in, in these very difficult times. And also given that face-to-face -face data collection is, is pretty difficult. Um, we encourage you to go back if you haven't, if you weren't there, to go back and look at the videos uh, for us. I'll just mention one thing. Yesterday we reposted a survey at the end and asked people to, to please fill it out. We didn't. We only get 31 answers, so we would. We just um, Kat Katrina just put it up. Up. If you can, those who were there yesterday uh, and didn't fill it out, please take the time to quickly fill it out. It shouldn't take more than a minute or two of your time. And before ending over um, and start the session of today, just as well wanted to um, let you know that we had very interesting thematic sessions on Monday and Tuesday. You can watch some of the live stream over Facebook, but we would like to encourage you as well to watch the uh, pre-recorded video on our Alliance YouTube channel if you didn't have the chance to do it yet. So welcome everyone. Um, today's main objective of the session will be um, to develop specific child protection action points for all sectors to apply during future uh, waves of COVID-19 and as well looking at other infectious disease outbreaks. Um, how? Well, that's going to be simple. We want to hear from you, you practitioners, academic, uh, donor, researchers, colleagues who are here today with us and we will try to make it and this will be as interactive as possible so what we have heard so what we have heard so far next slide please 
Um, and I think, honey, are you still around? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Um, so on for day one, for those of you who are with us, we did a quick um, poll with you to understand what you think are the challenges that, that were faced um, in your work to protect children during COVID-19. We received a very long list um, of challenges, unfortunately. And the top five, um, which are technology, participation, socioeconomic um, elements, sectoral silos, and mental health and psychosocial support, helped us formulate the, uh, the conversation today. So we are going to use what you gave us on day one to, um, to, to kind of frame the, the discussions today. Of course, we shouldn't feel, feel constrained by these elements that we're gonna be putting up, but rather it should help us kind of have a structure to, to uh, go through the day. Other issues such as capacity building, assessments, collaboration, um, communication uh, also came up, access and other things also came up as, uh, as challenges that colleagues have, have faced. Next slide, please. And lastly, we asked you if you believe that children need to be at the center of any and all decision making for infectious disease outbreak programming and, and response. And as you can see, if you can click again, please, um, you overwhelmingly told us that you believe very strongly um, that children need to be at the center of decision making for infectious disease outbreak responses. Uh, with that, I would like to hand over to Laura and Judy, uh, Laura Lee and Judy Thurble, who are the, the co-leads of, uh, of our um, COVID-19 um, team that, that we have formed since uh, March of this year, and they have been fundamental and central in all of our efforts to support you guys um, in your efforts uh, through our technical uh, material that we have produced and, and other things. Uh, Laura and Judy, over to you. Okay, well, welcome every day, everyone to what we hope to be a really exciting day. Um, my name is Judy Fairholm, and I'm working with Hani and Audrey at the Alliance as a co-lead on, on COVID-19 and child protection. So here we go for a good day together. Thanks, Judy. And my name is Laura Lee, uh, the other co-lead um, in COVID-19 with the Alliance. And so welcome to today. We're really looking forward to some engaging discussions. These are really critical discussions around uh, the future of child protection within um, infectious disease outbreaks, including future waves of COVID-19. So the slides, please. We anticipate today to be really interactive and encourage you to stay throughout the day. It's critical that you stay throughout the day. Each discussion is gonna build on the others and there'll be lots of chance to talk in smaller groups and then even smaller groups and really get to the core of your ideas and thoughts and uh, ways to move forward and your challenges. Okay, so what will happen today is we're going to go into three different group work sessions uh, with um, a fabulous host facilitator. And so for the first group work session, we're going to be talking about those key challenges that Hani just described. Um, we're going to be reflecting on what has been done well, what hasn't, and some recommendations. Um, after, uh, we will come back to a plenary, and then we'll talk about children and infectious disease outbreaks through the socio-ecological lens. That's the lens where we have child, family, community, nations, and society. The third group work will be leading towards action points. This is why you need to stay with us throughout the day. It's really critical that we get to this point, that we take the information and the discussions that have come from the first two group work sessions that build up towards the action points. Next slide, please. Um, so here's trying to be clear about how the day goes. So after this session, you'll hop into the first group work session. And this is where you get to choose your topic. There is a cap, we need even numbers. So if you don't get your first topic, please just hop on to the next topic. Um, and this is the key challenges. And then we will have a short break, I believe, and then back, come back to panel. 
And in this panel, we'll do a recap of the group work and you'll get to hear from the other groups how their, um, what their conclusions were and some of their recommendations from their groups. So it's really um, important that we're all attending those sessions too. And then we'll have a 30 minute break after that session. And then we move into two group work sessions back to back. And this is where we look through the socio-ecological framing and each group will look at a different, each room will look at a different group and then the action points. And then a quick break and back to the final closing panel. And so in the first group work, we're gonna be talking about those challenges. Can move to the next one and really think critically about what we have done well, in addition to how that challenge has, has um, come about. These reflections can be on COVID-19, which is all of our recent experience, but if you have been part of a response or prevention for past infectious disease outbreaks, pre please bring in that knowledge and experience as well. So the first room will look at um, child participation and community participation. Uh, the second room will look at mental health and psychosocial support, MHPSS. The third room will look at sectoral silos. That's talking about the different sectors, um, health, nutrition, um, various sectors, education, and how they've worked together or not for the, um, in the out infectious disease outbreak response. The fourth room will look at socioeconomic impact, and this includes the impact at the household level and various levels, as well as funding um, to programs. So this looks at the various elements um, that we, we've grouped together in that group. And the fifth looks at technology, which clearly was um, noted as a challenge. So this will be um, a large group, and then within that group, you'll also go into breakout groups. So off to our first group work session now. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, producers. We go back to the main lobby, and then you'll be able to select your room and, and topic. And once there's a cap in the group, uh, you'll have to choose your, a, a different topic. So everybody, we will see you in the rooms, and we look forward to your participation today. And... Thank you very much once again.